All right. So um, the thing with acceptance, um, oh, fixing instead of accepting. Well, acceptance, oh, um, just like forgiveness or letting go, I mean, it's all the same thing. So if I don't accept something, it, uh, then um, I'm going to be making a story about it. Like, I wish it wasn't raining today, or I wish it wasn't too sunny today. So if I'm making a story about it, I'm not accepting it because I'm not just with it in beingness or isness. My ego is trying to make a commentary like I like it or I don't like it, which are dualities. So, so to accept is not to label or make a story. To hold unforgiveness is not to, when something disappears, when you fully accept something, you don't need to accept it any longer because it disappears as something that's unacceptable. You know, if, if like, let's take raining, it's raining today. I'm really angry it's raining, it shouldn't be raining. For example, uh, I'm in non-acceptance, how can I, I need to accept that. Well, if I just accept it's raining, then my ego will shut up and, and I, won't, I won't notice anymore that it's raining. So that would be full acceptance or full forgiveness or full release of all my beliefs and judgments that it's raining. So if you were to accept everything in the world, including yourself and every single thought you had about yourself and others right now, and that would be a miracle. <laughs> and uh, then, the, you know, um, you'd be either in sublime bliss or this world would disappear because there'd be no more work to do. Because you, only, you could say you only see things in the world which are difficult because you're holding a story or unforgiveness or judgment about things. Otherwise, they disappear. You go off into the, you know, the eternal now or the holy instant, or even the world will disappear in infinite light if you were to do it well enough. You can't do that, though. The Holy Spirit does that. So, um, okay, uh, master to not feel. Um, try to master instead of feel. Yeah, so if you're applying the Dr. Hawkins or feel the feelings, uh, you know, um, feeling the feelings is not labeling or making a story while you're with what it what is. So, so if it's the aspect of the ego that's trying to be clever and try and do it properly or try and see if you can do it in a better way or uh, to master it or go, well, if I'd listen to a different music or I put the lights on or the lights off or I bought a candle, then I'll be able to do the feel the feelings and sitting with feelings without making a story better. And that's just the ego's deceptive mechanism of just trying to still run the show, either consciously or unconsciously. So you just, uh, you just either cancel, you know, cancel the thoughts. You, you, actually, it's more mindfulness where you, as soon as you see the ego trying to tell you, like, you need to put the candle on or uh, shut the curtains or whatever it is, you just stop identifying with the thought and just be back with the feeling. Try not to give it enough time to even make a story about uh, what's being experienced in the now. Um, and uh, I think that's a great thing. Anyone who's, um, just very quickly, anyone who's on a level of dissolving the need to think or to learn more and just does the spiritual actions of either feeling or cancelling or praying and forget trying to understand any more or read any more books, I think is at a very advanced level because it's like, okay, um, I don't need to need, read another 300 books on how to do this spiritual practice, um, I'm going to apply it now and, and throw away all the books and thinking about it. Uh, so if I just sit down and you're going to feel everything until you're enlightened, you're going to forgive everything until you're enlightened, or you're going to just sit with everything until you're enlightened, and you're not going to read another book on it or think about it. Uh, you're, very, you're very close in my, in my, in my view. Okay, I'm going to